Back at the Sportsplex with a battle in the West Catholic League where six teams started the week within two games of first place. The two first place teams were Sarah and Bellarmine, both with five and two league records. The two teams battling for sole possession of the league lead this week. It's our CCS Togo's monster game and Robert was there. Monster game. Yeah. Today's game is a battle of two of the Bay Area's very best teams. You can look for number 11 for the Sarah Padres, Hunter Bishop. Hunter going to Arizona State on a baseball scholarship next year, right now batting 458 with 27 hits for the Sarah Padres. For Bellarmine, look for junior Todd Jackson to do well today. Number 21 is hitting 442 with 13 RBIs for the Bellarmine Bells. It's a battle for first place in the West Catholic League in today's Togo CCS Monster Game. Really nice pregame ceremony as Sarah honors Bellarmine head coach Mike Rodriguez's daughter Sophia who is battling leukemia. Ellie Panos, the daughter of Sarah soccer coach Jeff Panos, is now cancer free for better than four years. Ellie doing a great job throwing out the first pitch. To the game where all the action starts in the fourth. No score as the Bells' Kyle Horn takes this one deep to right. A two-run shot for Horn and a 2-0 Bells lead. Still in the fourth runner at second, Kieran Shaw sends a sharp ground ball up the middle, scoring Connor Mack, and the Bells have a 4-0 lead after four. But that all changes in the fifth. Chris Underwood laces this one to left to load the bases with just one out. And then a huge play here as Hunter Bishop comes up and chops it to short. The second out is made at second, but the throw to first is in the dirt. Two-run score on the play. This is Tyler Villaroman. It's 4-2 Bells with two outs. The Padres go on to score five more in the inning with two out. Angelo Bordelin sends a rocket to right center. One hop off the fence to score Bishop. And then Ryan Samble shooting it down the line in left field. Billy Gatt comes in to score, and it's a double for Samble. Still in the fifth, James Halpin with a blast to right. It goes off the fence on the fly, sending Thomas McCarthy to third. It's a double for Halpin. Jack Morey's turn now, and Jack shoots it up the middle. McCarthy scores, and the Sarah Padres have a 6-4 lead. We're still in the bottom of the fifth. The Padres get another big run here as Villa Roman finds an open spot in the grass, scoring Halpin, and the Padres lead at 7-4. That run was important because the Bells mount a comeback. They get two here on this hard shot by Shaw to make it 7-6, and that's how it would end. The Padres all alone in first place. Eight Padres with at least one hit in the game. Well, you know, they beat us the first time around, so all the way through the first half of the league, we've been thinking about that loss and working hard at practice. Big team win today, all up and down the lineup, strength throughout everybody. 